time. We gotta leave in 10 minutes. Um, and this is so exciting. Okay, this is my outfit. It's just the, the usual black leggings. I stole this yellow bag from my mom and these are my shoes. And this is my sweater. This is actually my favorite sweater ever. Just in case I get cold. Cause you know, long day. Actually very, very scared. If you don't know this about me, I get very anxious when I have a flight or anything to do. It just, it stresses me out. So I'm trying to relax before I get on my flight, Is but nothing is working. I'm still very scared. We're in the car now and we need to leave for the airport five minutes ago, but obviously we are not complete. I don't know what our plan is. <laughs> Reporting the plan to Hong Kong, but this is a connecting flight. We just landed in Hong Kong and we need to make our way to the gate now, but we have no idea where it is. My mom are so hungry and our flight is still in three hours. We cannot find any food in this airport. All of the restaurants are closed. The vending machines have no food in them. We don't know what to do. Really everything is closed in this airport and we don't know what to do. On the plane to Tel Aviv right now. Super exciting. Um, my head is hurting like crazy, but we're gonna make it through. To do on the airplane is I like to watch the live like the live viewing of like I don't know how to explain it but there's like a live stream of the airplane during the flight literally my favorite show on the airplane yeah like we're about to land and it's just it's so fun to like see where we're going we just arrived in Tel Aviv it's so cold and I'm so excited We got to the place where we're staying and my entire family left me here in the lobby to look after the bags so that they could check out the place. So I'm here by myself and my mom left me here and she said if anything happens, scream. Like she's gonna be able to hear me. Okay, I finally made it inside of the apartment. There is construction outside, which is fine. I don't really mind. And my parents went down to go buy food. Um, the apartment's really cute too. I'll give you guys a little tour. The living room, it's super cute. The dining table and this is their kitchen. It's so adorable, but look at our view. It's insane. Also just has great lighting. Just look at that. Look at that. This is so great. Right now we are in Jaffa. Well, old Jaffa. And they're taking us on a tour, I guess. And there's lots of stairs. Kind of out of breath. Now we are looking for a place to eat lunch because my dad wants kebab. That's what you, that's your, uh, yeah. Saffron risotto, that's lamb usobuko. And then that is beef kebab, <laughs> and that's chicken. This is so pretty from our apartment. That's crazy. Hold on, I'm gonna try and zoom in. My camera kind of sucks, but it's okay. Cause look, wow, it's so pretty. Not even better, like look at that. It's so pink, it's so cute. It's the end of my first day here in Tel Aviv. I'm out, I'm done, I'm tired. Nothing more is happening today. We didn't even eat dinner. I'm going to sleep. We're jet lagged, so my dad had to go out to dinner without us. And it's now four in the morning, and we're eating the leftovers he brought over. Hey, okay, good morning. It is day two. Today, we are going to the Sea of Galilee. It is seven in the morning, very early, but because I'm jet lagged, I was up at four. <laughs> um, so now I'm up bright and early. And I'll show you guys my outfit. 
Okay, this is my outfit. Also, sorry, it's not seven in the morning, it's six. <laughs> I just never know what time it is in the morning because jet lag. Um, but this is my outfit. Locked out of the apartment. Not my fault. Because they kept entering fault. the wrong code. Not my fault. It's mommy's fault. We're gonna wait here for three minutes to wait until the thing decides it wants to let us in again. Yeah. Uh, no. Today, apparently, we are on our way to Nazareth. Um, so, we're gonna go to the Sea of Galilee and see where Jesus was like hanging out. <laughs> The weather is so nice and it's so beautiful here. The air smells great. <laughs> supposed to be where the miracle where Jesus multiplied two fish and five loaves of bread to feed thousands of people happened. So it's really beautiful here. Now we're on our way to Capernaum. I think it's how you say it. This is our tour guide, Gideon. Say hey. hi! You're gonna be part of my video. Right now we're in Nazareth and it's freezing and we're cold. again at like 8 a.m. maybe earlier because we're still jet lagged and we're gonna go to Jerusalem. Okay, Merry Christmas Eve everybody. Let's get this show on the road. This is everybody's outfit. Merry Christmas Eve, Merry Eve. Eve. Okay. to everyone. So yes, this, these are all our outfits. They wanted to be involved in my show today. It's raining, which it's not great, but we'll figure it out. Um, today we are going, where are we going? Jerusalem. We're going to Jerusalem. We're back on our tour again. It's day two, three. Two. Two. Day two of our tour, but we're here for the third day already. Um, it's really cold. I can't feel my face anymore, but it's fun, we're learning history. Okay, right now we're in Gethsemane. And you wanna show them your hat? 
This is Gideon, our tour guide, and he has the coolest hat. No, stay together. Hat. Stay together. He ah. has the coolest hat. It's a brilliant, you know. It's very nice. Yeah. Okay, so basically this is Mount Gethsemane, which means the place of olives. And this is the last place Jesus was praying before he got crucified. <laughs> Western wall. We got caught in the rain. Like when I say caught, I mean caught, wet, very wet, and my jacket did not have a hood. It was very exciting. But now we are inside a restaurant and we're gonna eat so well. It's a family business. Okay, now we're doing the starters. There was hummus and tahini. There used to be falafel there. Pita, tomatoes, cucumbers, zucchini, salad, olives. This is Turkish salad, medium hot. Thank you. Okay, then there's the main course. It's kebab and shawarma. Right now we're in some kind of market or bazaar. Market? Market. That's where I think we are. I don't know what's happening. Please one out. because we are done with our little Jerusalem tour. This is the wall that surrounds the old city, the one that like protects them from like everyone else. There's cats following us. The cats here are super friendly too. Okay, we arrived at our hotel because we're staying overnight in Jerusalem and we're staying at the Olive Tree Hotel. Elevator is so cute. And she's afraid of elevators, which is why her face is like that. <laughs> okay, we had to cross the border from Israel to the Palestinian area. So right now we are in Bethlehem. Um, I don't know how we got here. I also just woken up from a nap because right now in the Philippines, it is my sleepy time. <laughs> and right now we're out on the town and I'm ready to collapse. We are in Bethlehem. I'm cold, and our tour guide just dropped us off here with no other friends. So now we're just we wandered around lost. Can I call them? You okay? This is Uncle Esse. Hello. Uncle S.A. <laughs> is having the best Christmas right now because we got someone, I don't know if I can say this here, he's a numpty. I'll explain more about him later. I can't do this now online, but Merry Christmas. Okay, Merry Christmas. Um, it's Christmas and we are in a gelato shop no idea what is happening right now we don't even have a tour guide it's just some guy we found in a store who's just like walking us around <laughs> for reference we've been up since three in the morning because of jet lag and then we got out of the house at like nine and we have been going around bethlehem since like 10 in the evening it's now 12.30 in the morning. I'm ready to pass out. 
may sleep. Today. For this church it's nothing. This is the most important church. Like any church in the world, you know, this church. But down where Jesus is born. Are you saying it's the birthplace of Jesus? What is in there? We just passed the border from Palestine back to Israel and that's the end of our day. It's 3 in the morning. We're tired. We're done. That's it. Okay, Merry Christmas everybody. It is officially the morning of December 25. Today we are going to the Dead Sea. Yeah, we're going to the Dead Sea. So over there he's saying that that's Jericho and over here is the start of the Dead Sea somewhere. I don't know, I can't really see him. I'm just pretending. We are on the way to the Dead Sea. Okay, so again, this is Uncle Esse and this is Auntie Zayona. We are about to have lunch in the middle of the desert. And of course my dad wants to join, so he's running. <laughs> so I don't know what this place is called. Okay, apparently the name of the, the restaurant is Last Chance, because it's your last chance to eat food before you hit the desert. There's a camel. There's like caves all over this mountain, it's crazy. There's high backs there. I don't know if you can see them under the tree. They're like kind of mountain goat. We are at the hotel that's near the Dead Sea. We made it to the room and I'm gonna give you guys a room tour. It's so nice in here. So this is the living area. It's so nice. And before I show you guys the view, this is like a little kitchenette. And the view outside of our hotel room is crazy. Look at this. And there's a jacuzzi there. And the desert is literally right there. And this is the Dead Sea. So this is the bathroom, and this is the bedroom. It's day two in the Dead Sea. I just finished doing the makeup and getting ready. And for some reason, now is the moment my mother decides to use the blow dry. It's a rainy day in the Dead Sea. There's thunder. I kind of forgot where I was for a few seconds. <laughs> um, but I'm ready. We are gonna go downstairs to eat lunch, and I think we might go to the mall, I don't know. We'll see. Also, the air smells great here. It's cold as balls, so we're not gonna go swimming, but we are going to go dip our feet in the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea isn't really a sea, it's just like a saltwater lake, basically. And every year it goes like a few meters back, so basically the water is disappearing, and it keeps moving further and further back. I don't know why. Like, it used to be all the way over there, but now it's all the way over here. Okay, I'm here at the water. It's salty. Um, don't ask. I did taste it. Um, yeah, and it's also raining, but at least I got to see it. My mom is set on going in the water. It's raining. She put a towel on her hair and is hoping for the best. It's a full rainbow. That is so, that is so pretty. We came back out and it's so much nicer now that the sun is out. I didn't even realize it's a double rainbow. There's another one. Okay, I'm dipping my feet in the Dead Sea. Okay. okay basically <laughs> what happened was we got stuck in the hotel at the Dead Sea because there was a flash flood so then the driver couldn't come pick us up so a random driver had to come pick us up and there was traffic because there was a freaking flash flood but we're dropping off Auntie Ziona and Uncle Esse in the airport and it's late and it's dark and I'm cold good morning I don't know what day this is anyway five six or maybe it's seven I don't know I just blow dried my hair it looks really nice it's really freaking cold 
Um, and we're going to the ruins today. Now we're having lunch. Again, I don't know the name of this restaurant. Why do I take it? Right now we are on the way to Caesare. It's like a Roman ruins. That's what that is. Also, look at my lip gloss. <laughs> Got it right. I've been trying to say it for the past like how many minutes? But we came from an. I'm not even gonna try to say it again. Bakery and we got bread, so I'll show you guys the bread. Okay, I don't even know what the heck my dad bought while he was down there. I think that's an empanada. I'm not really sure. He bought two. I really don't know what that is. I don't know what's in there. But there's a quiche that has mushrooms. I don't know what else is in there, but it's got mushrooms. That's what we got. It's the next day. And we finally figured out what's in there. I think that's cottage cheese. Yeah, it is. And it's a lot, too. Yeah. My mom says the quiche is really good, but I'm gonna try it now. I'm not gonna show my face, because I just woke up. But that is so yummy. <laughs> There's a cat on a trampoline in the lobby of the Airbnb. <laughs> he was just asleep. So today my dad is working, and no one can bring us to lunch today, <laughs> so we're walking around. Airbnb to go find lunch. This is my tour guide today. She doesn't know where she's going either. Okay, we chose a Japanese restaurant. We'll see what happens. It's called Japanica or Habanica. I don't know. Now we're finally gonna go down to the beach in front of our Airbnb because we've never been and it's been an entire week and a half and we're finally gonna go down. My mom didn't want to step on the sand, but I got her. <laughs> Thank you for watching my vlog. I will be updating you because I'm going to Madrid, so there will be another one. But thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon.